My area of research, primarily here at MPS, is in the communications having to do with small satellites. When you launch a small satellite, you have to communicate with it somehow. And so we build the ground stations, the antennas, the communications networks uh, to enable the operations of these small satellites after they launch. In the last, I'd say, 10 years or so, small satellites have become increasingly popular uh, among the government, among NASA, among DOD, commercial industry, because they're small, they're easier to build, they cost less, and they're easier to launch. Is really looking to try and find ways of developing a solution that will scale gracefully as the number of satellites continues to increase and the ground networks become more and more constrained. Our satellites get built by different people, uh, by different vendors with different stakeholders all around the government. And they launch into different orbits. For us, what we're trying to do is standardize the, uh, the approach to communicating with all of these different satellites. One of our efforts here is to bring together all these different folks around the government and provide a common piece of infrastructure uh, in the form of ground station network that they can leverage. NASA iTech is a forum for uh, folks from the industry and folks from the government to be able to get out in front of NASA and some tech VCs in order to basically uh, explain some of the new technologies they've been working on. The top 10 were flown out to NASA Langley. We competed and we presented our ideas and what was encouraging also is not just competing, but hearing from these judges about how to make our research better and more relevant. I think that Giovanni was one of the finalists in this particular uh, round because the ideas that are embedded within his thesis uh, have the potential to sort of fundamentally change how people look at uh, planning and allocation for very, very large scale systems. In the next several years, market forecasts uh, predict that thousands of small satellites will be launched, which is unprecedented. Uh, up until now, there had been maybe tens if not hundreds of satellites launched per year, and those are in good years. So the fact that thousands are going to be launched sets a new precedent for how they are going to be operated, how they're going to be deconflicted, especially in orbits that are popular. Space is big, but it turns out it's not that big. And as a result of that, he's looking at applying some of the new techniques and tools that have been developed at Naval Postgraduate School to attempt to address this problem. For me, it's actually very gratifying to have worked on this topic now for about five years and to finally uh, have some results that I can actually share uh, with the greater community. And in the end, it all comes back to the educational piece. The reason why we do what we do is to make the research relevant for our students here. And so we take on challenging problems to keep ourselves sharp. Uh, and so when the students come, they come to learn about new technologies, uh, about new approaches. And so by keeping this kind of research here at MPS, we make that as relevant as we can for the students because when they go out to the DOD, they will be playing with the newest and the best technology out there and they will have learned about it first here in our small sat lab.